For a mission this important, we bring the zombie bus out of long haul retirement. We're headed to the North Island to support Critter Moto's event for men's mental health. It's 467 kilometers to Port McNeil to meet up with our friends for dinner. We have four crew and five motorcycles. That was a long, hard slog, but we are in Port McNeil and we are with our friends. <laughs> oh my God. I try to be all like low key. It's a, how are you doing? Can't be low key around here. No. Look at all these bikes. Well, Misty, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, you too. Come this on, This is like, I'm feeling better already. Playing the bikes in the bus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi. Hi, Summer. Hi, Scott. Scott. Yes. yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's wonderful. Awesome. He's another donkey He's convert. Lots of yep. Nice. <laughs> we like donkeys. No yep. ways. I ride a goat myself, but you know, donkeys are okay. Would you call me? <laughs> it's how much grass you can eat no, the you go. <laughs> bunch. You guys are all here a day early. And thanks for picking up all our tabs. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, shit. Yeah. Came out of your account. Oh shit. <laughs> but no, I just wanted to say thanks for being here. The like the support, everything, you know, that's like this is the I don't know. I'm bad at speeches, but it's great. Yeah. Yay! We love you! Here we go! And we're just have to get it. How many times do I have to tell you? <laughs> Chris has brought us all to Windy Waters Campground on Nimkish Lake for a weekend of dual exploring the beautiful North Island and raise funds for the Heads Up organization that supports men's mental health. 50 riders will attend coming from all over. The support and excitement for this event is inspiring and we are all very proud of what Chris has created. Okay guys, well as you saw, we arrived at the campsite uh, just uh, north of Was. It was cold last night, and we're off on our very first ride. Mr. Scott is over here. Stephanie is sitting this one out for personal uh, stuff anyway. Commitments. Commitments, and uh, I've been a total mess this morning, but uh, she saved my bacon and found all my lost stuff, and I love her so much, and I'm so lucky, and I'm just trying to fight the demons that are going on in my head right now. Uh, the whole crew is over there waiting for us. We're late, uh, and uh, let's get going.
would be called a yard sale. Uh. Look what you did. What's that? Look what you did. I know. I know. I did. I started a whole thing. Okay. I need a rest for a minute. Take a break. Oh. Hello, the view. Take in the view. Look as far up the trail as you can and gas the shit out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had a brief hesitation where I went, oh shit, a corner. Yeah. But it's been going good so far. Awesome. Yeah. Well, so far, most of the ride I've done before all along Atluck Lake and the route towards Port Alice, but this is a new turnoff for me. We're heading up to the mine and uh, it's getting kind of fun, uh, although a little bit more technical. Uh, I'm knowing that Richard's probably enjoying it because he, he wants to do some harder stuff. And uh, Scott had, as he saw, a dominoes effect happen there. He had a moment, bobbled, fell over, and then everyone stopped, and then some people couldn't touch the ground, and, and then that was it for that. Well done, Scott. This is the end. We're gonna ride in though. <laughs> yeah. Big fish. Don't go too far in that one. <laughs> Is this the one where the rock drops 18 times? Looks like a pretty decent slope actually right around the corner. Yeah. Too bad we didn't have a light or something to illuminate that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not far until it goes into the abyss. I don't want to go down there. I think it hit mine cart. <laughs> Your first. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to go down that one. I'm still going. Wow. Well, Kevin, 
Does this mine have a name? This is the Merry Widow Mine. Merry Widow Mine. Yeah, iron, gold, copper, garnets. Um, yeah, most of this, the dark black heavy stuff is all magnetic, magnetite. So if you have a magnet with your tank bag or whatever, you can pick rocks up. That's what they were mining here was the iron. And so they dug out this whole pit. Um, somewhere there's buildings and minecarts and sha other shafts. There's another shaft there. Another shaft. So it looks like it's full up now. I think there was another one there. Up on that ledge? Right below that ledge. Right below oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can safely say this is not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but this ain't it. Like, this is so cool. Is this wild? How they tore it all down into here, and then the shaft over there is truly frightening. How, how far does that go in? Uh, it goes in about uh, four feet, and then it goes straight down. And we were doing a rock test, throwing some rocks in there, and uh, yeah, they bounced for quite a while. And it, that's over there? Right over there. There's another one. You can see from, if you go down to the, over there on that ledge, and then there's another one up here. That looks yeah. like. I think the trick is to run it in as high a gear as you can with the most relaxed throttle, yeah. and you'll get really good gas mileage. Mmm. Hell of a venue for a sandwich. Down there. So you have a look here. Not sure what the black stuff is here. Those are little baby garnets. Mm -hmm. Little garnets. I'm walking away with a souvenir. What'd you find? Yeah, they busted one open and it's got a bit of everything in it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, there's another mine shaft right there. Go have a look. Yeah, we're gonna go take a peek at that in a sec. That one, the rocks fall for a while too. It's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Kevin was saying he thinks they're both ventilation shafts for a, oh. a main shaft that's serviced from a different location. Ah. Interesting. But you're saying, apparently someone was saying that from one of the other access points, they found a main tunnel with a bunch okay. of stuff that's period correct. Put all the info's out there, you just have no idea where to look for that thing. Well, there seems to be some kind of... Holy cow. It's a shaft. Oh, sweet. Yeah, like she broke it open. It looked like that on the outside. Mm -hmm. Broke it open and silver pyrite in the middle. Beautiful. That's a good hike up there, isn't it, for standing here? Yeah. It's funny. It the longer you're here, the more impressive it becomes. Yeah. Another day in the mine shaft. Another day in the mine shaft. What can I show you that's pretty? $100 bills. Holy cow, look at that. I know a guy who had shoes that looked like that. I know a guy had teeth that looked like that. Holy uh, jumping. That's you. what I was climbing the wall for. Nice. Worth it. Yeah. So what is the, that, uh, Kevin? Fuck me if I know. <laughs> or there's another one. Oh. Holy smokes. I'm, I'm park, I can't fall on the way Don't down. Don't give cause... that to Superman. Yeah, oh, isn't that wild? Yeah. That Pretty Christmas. epic day. Elbows up! <laughs> Send it! Like the rock star.
First day's ride, Richard, what do you think? Loving it, so much fun. Well, Even the extracurricular stuff. Yeah, we all survived his mud escapade and uh, tripped up to the mine, it was pretty cool. And uh, I got back here and I didn't record it, but my bike fell over after it put on its kickstand. Proof I can't walk away from a bike and it won't fall over. So on our way up to the event, we stopped in Parksville and went by Ride Industries, uh, where we picked up a new graphic package for the bike and I'm going to install it because I love stickers and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Brindy seemed to have missed Scott. <laughs> She's yes. such a funny dog. A man and his mooch. Successful for my first year from what I put that in at the end, regardless of what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna give some stuff away if you want to make your way over here, it'd be fun. <laughs> She's uh, pretty excited. 